Hi, my name is Matthias Wyszycki. I'm head of sales Syngas at Clariant Catalyst. Today I will talk about green ammonia and how our catalysts can facilitate the deployment of this new technology. Currently, ammonia is mainly used for fertilizer production and it is produced using fossil feedstocks such as natural gas and coal. This has a substantial CO2 footprint as ammonia accounts for around 2% of the global greenhouse gas emissions. Compared to the so-called grey ammonia, green ammonia is produced using renewable electricity to generate green hydrogen via electrolysis and nitrogen from an air separation unit. This ammonia production process has almost no CO2 footprint. When ammonia is burned, it does not emit any carbon, which makes it especially interesting as a fuel or energy source for the energy transition. Besides its traditional use for fertilizer production, it's expected that several new applications will come up in the coming decades. One example is the use of ammonia as fuel for the maritime sector or for heavy trucks. Another application is the use of ammonia for power generation, such as co-firing coal-based power plants. The third use case is a hot topic right now, and that's using ammonia as a hydrogen carrier for long-distance hydrogen transport and then cracking it at the point of use to release back the hydrogen. This will become important because low-carbon hydrogen can be produced in favorable regions where there is a lot of renewable energy like sun and wind and needs to be transported to the point of end use. The advantage of using ammonia as a hydrogen carrier is the existing infrastructure for transporting ammonia and its high energy density. These new applications are expected to triple the demand for ammonia by 2050. Despite the clear benefits, green ammonia producers face strong headwinds. Challenges include the high cost of electrolyzers and the operational challenges of running an ammonia plant based on renewable energy. Traditional ammonia plants operate continuously and have very limited load changes. In contrast, Green ammonia plants that rely on renewable energy must adapt to variations in power supply and therefore hydrogen supply due to fluctuations in solar and wind energy. To overcome these variations, green ammonia plants need to be able to change their load and integrate hydrogen storage, which further increases the already high capex. The good news is that Clarion's unique Wustite-based ammonia synthesis catalysts Amomax 10 Plus and Amomax Casale can help overcome these challenges. The catalysts have extremely high activity which enables highest ammonia yields and allows the ammonia synthesis loop to operate at lower pressure. This results in lower energy consumption and improved plant economics. In addition, the catalysts have a high resistance to oxygenate, which is extremely important for green ammonia production because green hydrogen can contain traces of oxygen that poison the catalyst and decrease its performance and overall lifetime. Thanks to these benefits, our Amomax catalysts have been already selected for several green ammonia projects. With our state-of-the-art catalyst portfolio and our strong engineering partners, KBR and Casale, we are very well positioned to facilitate the deployment of green ammonia to make our future greener.